recorded so I can send you a copy later para you can review what we're gonna talk about today. And then also I will request everyone to stay on mute para hindi lang masyadong maingay. But if you have a question, um, type them in the chat box. We'll try to address them as soon as we can or probably later if necessary. Um, if you think the question is a little bit private, you don't want to send to the public, send it directly to me. So my ID in the call is Monet. This may take about 60 minutes, depending kung may marami kayong tanong, but that's probably our maximum for today. So we hope we could have a productive session. So, um, nasa na ba ang ating guest speaker? Ipipin ko lang. <laughs> okay, our guest speaker today is actually from the Philippines. So, ma it's very fortunate that we have an in-country representative from Federation University that could talk about what we need to know if we want to study at their university in Australia. So, siya ang share later, si Ms. Beatrice. And um, I'll give her, her time to introduce herself later. Pero before I ask her to start, gusto ko lang malaman sa inyo, gusto ko kayong makausap, pero through a button, ano lang, ah, participation. So, I hope you're looking at your screen. I'm going to launch a poll. Ay, sandali lang, may mga pumapasok pa. I'm gonna launch a poll. On your screen, may mag appear na two questions. So I will just ask you to answer these two questions, which I'll be launching now. I hope you can see it. Ayan, so may dalawang question dyan. Um, kindly press or select one answer for each question. Walang tama or mali. I just would like to hear from you guys. Um, para maintindihan namin, sino ba yung nasa call today? Ano ba ang interests ninyo? And kung may idea na ba kayo, anong ses para sa antong session na to, ano, what, it's, what is it all about? ba Para maintindihan namin yung background nyo. Ayan, medyo, answers are coming in. Di pa 100%, but I'm happy na nagpa-participate kayong lahat very actively. Ayan, di bali makikita nyo ang <laughs> Result kasi you should share ko very quickly. I have a few. Sige, meron pa. Konti, konti na lang. May mga hindi pa sumasagot, but siguro one, one second. Ayan, I think I'm ready to end the call. Mukhang di na kaya ng iba. So let's end the poll. Thank you very much for participating. Kung nag kayo online, I'm sure familiar kayo sa mga ganito. <laughs> okay, very interesting ang ating results. So marami sa inyo ang gustong mag-aral sa Australia. So that's very good news because you're actually in the right session. So hindi ko i-guarantee na soonest, pero yan ang target natin. Ang matulungan kayo makapunta ng Australia at makapag-aral hopefully with Federation University. Dun sa mga... Um, wala pang masyadong idea. Perfect din ito para sa inyo kasi ito yung time na makakapag-explore kayo at the comfort of your own homes and probably address other concerns na you want to clarify. So, Bea, if you could also see the poll. Marami dito interested sa business. Yes. IT. IT is always very popular. At least meron pa rin a little bit for health, engineering, we have popular um, interest in science, ecology, sports, education, arts, and social studies. Walang other, so mukhang covered lahat ng Federation <laughs> University. I'm going to stop sharing now. And now I'm going to stop talking <laughs> and hand over the screen to Ms. Bea. Ms. Bea, we're excited to learn from you. Over to you. Thank you, Monet. So hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. And of course, hopefully to give you more information about studying in Australia and also share about um, more information about Federation University. Okay, let me just share my screen. So more or less, um, for today, I wanted to share more about Federation University. So we are based in Australia, okay? There. So these are some photos of our campuses, our students. Um, as you can see, it's very multicultural. And then of course, we are here today um, just to show a bit of pathway to Australia and study. And then with that, we are to tackle five questions. So along the way, at least we are guided. So first is why choose to study in Australia? Um, where can you study? 
And then, what courses are available? And then, can I afford to study in Australia? And how can you apply? There. So first is, of course, a while ago, um, thank you for answering the poll. So I know most are interested to study in Australia or exploring it. So hopefully this session would give you more information and then hopefully help you decide also later on um, regarding your study or future path or career. And then if you have questions, feel free to raise your hand along the way or probably at the end of the session, or you could just message in the chat box. Okay. So why choose to study in Australia? Of course, um, before I get into more information about Federation University, let's tackle the country as a whole or as a destination for students. Okay. So next, um, this, these are just some photos that I'll go um, through. So first one, this is a picture of Melbourne um, as a whole or Melbourne as a city or Australia. It is one of the um, top student destinations or chosen by international students worldwide. Um, why is this? So to move forward on the photo on the right, um, high quality education. So it's really there in terms of available courses, the amount of courses available in Australia, um, it's very wide. And then even for the niche score or course, it can be found. So that's one of the things. And each bachelor or undergrad degree is always, it's all it's already a major at the start. So once you study or pursue study in Australia, you can really guarantee quality education. And then next is, of course, um, one, one is, of course, Australia as a whole is already a famous tourist destination. That's all, so that's already on the side. So once a student does decide to study in Australia, it's easier for them, of course, to travel to other destinations within Australia. So, of course, we're always aware of the upper house, but there are so much more that tourist destination that Australia can offer. Okay. Probably also um, along the way, yeah, Monet can also yeah, agree to some um, extent yes. of how Australia <laughs> is as a country. Thank and then Actually, next... Bea, I just want to ah, ask, kasi buong Australia, <laughs> pero at least you're highlighting Melbourne. So, yeah. just to quickly <laughs> add, kasi ang Federation University ay located sa Melbourne. Ayan. Yeah. We do have a campus in Melbourne. And then next, of course, is multicultural. The, once you study or the multicultural diversity of Australia, it's really there, especially for students to widen their networks. So their classmates, people they work with. So very diverse. And then next is scholarships. Scholarships are available. Um, this is not just for Federation University, but of course, we do have our scholarships that we offer to our students and as a whole. And then of, um, lastly is employment opportunities. So once you graduate, employment um, opportunities are there. Aside from that, you also have your post-study work visa. So we can get um, um, more into it later on once we discuss through the pre um, presentation or session. Okay. There. Okay. Moving forward. There. So who is Federation University? So Federation University, we've been in the industry for about 150 years. We celebrated this last year. So we are about 151 um, or two this year. So we were founded in 1870 as a famous gold, because of the gold rush. We started out as a mining school. And then we are also the third oldest provider of higher education in Australia. And over um, 18,500 Australian international students and of course 100, about 100,000 alumni worldwide. So aside from the fact that we are 150 years old, we are still ranked top 250 young universities worldwide. This is because we were known as a university back in 1994, as University of Ballarat. And then later on, we changed our name in 2004 to Federation University. Okay. So we really started out as a mining school before in 1870. 
and then together um so we are still considered top young universities and we are an Australian government university and then next we do have high quality teaching and student support so we do take pride in this because we are number one in Victoria for student support especially for international students because we do know how hard it can be like for example if a student is away from their families um we we develop these um student support systems for the student aside from this we also have small class sizes we also take pride in this because with this um students get more time with their professors so more one on one especially if they have questions um, you can get, um, or more or less, your professors can get to know you first name basis. So if you have questions or um, like, for example, going through it, they can talk to you if you're having problems. So we do have small class sizes um, ranging from 20 to 30 or 20 to 40 per class usually. So yeah, skills development, teaching quality business, engineering, and nursing. So one of our top courses. So here are some examples of the student support programs that we do offer for students. So of course, international student advisory, um, student mentors one-on-one -on -one once they get there, um, careers advisory. So when you're ready for resume or looking into job opportunities, um, EIP and academic skills, free one-on-one -on -one support, um, with experienced tutors. Like for example, of course, it would be different. Um, like what would be the learning techniques? So somebody can uh, um, help you with that. And then online resources, international student grants. We also have PASS, peer assisted study sessions, more or less same with the um, EAP and academic skills. And then of course, health being and well-being, even personal support, we can assist you. And then sports and recreation, student senate. So more or less, these are activities for the students. Next is outstanding employment outcomes. So this is um, overall. So within four to six months, students can get full-time paying jobs already once they graduate. And then with this, we do have good feedback with our business, engineering courses, education, and social work. So within the poll kanina, so at least hopefully you can consider studying with Federation University. And then where can you study? So where are we located? We actually have four campuses, but most is within Victoria, where Melbourne is situated. So that's why a while ago I shared a bit about Melbourne. So we have three campuses in Victoria. Um, we have a Melbourne campus, which is Berwick, but do take note that it is considered a suburb of um, Melbourne. So hindi siya city center ni Melbourne. But if you want like to consider a cheaper option like outside of city center Melbourne, Berwick is a good um, campus. And there is a good Filipino community as well in KC. So if you have relatives near the area, and then we also have Ballarat campus, which is our main campus. It is regional, same with Gippsland. Um, so Ballarat, this is the where gold was discovered. So this is our main campus. So in 1850s, as you can see in the photo up above, um, it is well preserved. It is a well-preserved architectural city. As of the moment, um, it is a tourist destination because of that gold rush. And then we do have Gippsland. It's another um regional campus it's a quieter option for students and then lastly we we have our brisbane campus which is a city campus as well but for brisbane just to give you a bit of um background we only offer it and business courses here it's located city center in a building not like ground campuses such as ballarat Berwick, and gippsland Next, is, this is just an estimated living cost. So just to compare more or less um, what would be the difference um, rates, of course, from city living, from regional living here. So from Ballarat, as you can see, or Gippsland itself, around 395. But within Melbourne or Brisbane, 
it usually goes up because of rent. That is very true there. So hopefully, next, there. Just to give you a bit of um, details for each of the campus, we do have the Berry campus. So most of our courses are available here as well. Um, it is five minutes from station. It is one hour, a one hour train ride from city center of Melbourne. So yeah, nursing is here, um, engineering as well, science courses. There. It's a cheaper option as well because mas, mas mura din. Because when you get into city center, talaga mas mahal ang bilihin. So dito mas, mas mura. Yeah, yeah. So Federation Brisbane Campus. So this campus was built in 2018. So it's fairly new. And then we only offer business and IT. And just to give you... um. It's the only campus that we have a November intake. So, ano ba ang intake? Intake usually is the start of classes. Usually, it is February and July. But for our Brisbane campus, we have a November intake. Okay. okay. So, 2022 and 2023. And then, we also have a scholarship for um, Brisbane which is 25% automatic for students, okay? And then we also have the Fed Degree Plus. So more or less, because we do know how competitive it is or it can be if you're studying in the city, you have a Fed Degree Plus. It is um additional certificate for students once they study within Brisbane campus. So for example, you're doing purely IT. On the side, you can do a certificate of business or certificate of leadership or management to more or less have you um to get you a micro credential so it helps with your resume and then once you start applying and then innovation and employability of course all of our um courses offered within Brisbane is partnered with an or we have an industry partner with them and then our Fed Degree Plus system. So that was the certificate. So it's a micro-credential professional development. We also have the Jobs Hub. So more or less, it helps students or it's um employability workshop. So resume writing, interviews. And the good thing about this, um, it also has links to available jobs within the area. And then it's available until two years after graduation. So like, for example, once you graduate, you get a job. And then you plan to look into other opportunities. You can still go to Federation University and they can still offer you um, employability or more or less job lists available yeah, within Brisbane. So this is what the campus looks like. So it is really city center of Brisbane. And in terms of um, weather, I think usually mas mabilis ma-adapt ang mga Filipino because medyo mas tropical din dito. There. And we do have Gippsland. Ito, I would say this is more of um much more quieter than Ballarat. So parehong um, regional si Ballarat and si Gippsland. Pero si Gippsland, it's really more immersed in nature. It has big dairy farms. Um, mechatronics is here. Um, if people are interested with um, for engineering, because even after studying employability wise, in demand ang engineers here, because madaming plants, as in plant tataraga. So, in the sense na those jobs are in demand and madaming openings. Yeah, you can also consider this, of course, si Gibbs Land eligible. For to apply for up to five-year post-study work visa. So once you graduate, you get the post-study work visa of three years, and then you can still extend it two more years. So same with Ballarat. If you go for master's, and then if you go for bachelor's, if I'm not mistaken, you can go up to four years. 
Thea, can I yes. just add to that? Sure. So, meron kasi, naalala ko, may mga first timer dito. So, mm. ano po ba yung sinasabi ni Bea na post-study work visa? So, after nyo pong mag-aral sa Federation University, either two-year program or three-year program, it's either, yun, usually pag master's or bachelor's, um, you are uh, eligible to work, to stay in Australia for two years. as an international student, as a former international student. Ngayon, dahil um, Gippsland and Ballarat, they are regional areas, you are um, able to apply for further number of years. So either, in this case, at Gippsland, additional three more years. So that's a total of five years na pwede kayong mag-work at mag-gain ng experience sa Australia. Hindi nyo na kailangan mag-aral. And that's because you've already gained your qualification from Federation University. All right? So that's a good opportunity to gain experience, add to your income, and um, who knows what else you would like mm -hmm. to do after that. Ayun. So sana clear. That's yeah. all. Thank you, Manette. So hopefully, um, yeah, that's, um, of course, investment. Once you study overseas, it is an investment. So this is a good way for you also to use the qualification in Australia with the use of post-study work visa. There. So this is what the campus looks like. Yeah. So ground-wise... And then we do, um, of course, our main campus, Ballarat. Um, Population-wise, it's about 100,000 people. About 1,000 Filipinos already are situated in Ballarat. So, Filipino community, meron talaga. Um, of course, great location for international students because high-quality education and facilities, more affordable fees and accommodation because as you saw within the table a while ago, Um, mas mura ang food and accommodation within regional. And then relax and enjoyable uh, enjoyable lifestyle. Because of course, um, they really do practice work-life balance. And then incentives and employment opportunities. Ayan, regional incentives. So this is our campus in... Um, Ballarat. So there, there are actually three, but the main campus is Mount Helen campus, um, which is um here in the photo. Here, as you can see, the the building in front. This is actually the IT park that is opened really within the campus. So IBM and Concentrix is here, Ernst and Young. So people who are interested in IT, we do have courses um made with IT. even available work scholarships with IBM. Okay. So the Mount Helen campus is a 15-minute drive back and forth um, via bus. Bus is available within Ballarat as well. So, okay, so it's Nisha City Center in Ballarat, still a 15-minute drive from um, Ballarat City Center. And just to give you an idea, I think I, was, I wasn't able to mention this a while ago. Ballarat is actually an hour 30 minutes away from city center Melbourne. Okay, So it's easy to get in and out um, of city center Melbourne to Ballarat. Same with Gippsland. Gippsland can reach about 1.30 to 2 hours away. So other side naman siya. So probably you have um, relatives or friends in Melbourne. It's really convenient to go in and out of Ballarat. And then this is what the campus looks like. So facility-wise, um, we do have the labs, um, simulation, especially for nursing and people who are studying science. Um, when I say multicultural and your classmates, yeah, you really do meet people from different or like worldwide. Actually. Oh, yeah. You get to grow your network. And then aside from that, of course, interesting, attractive city with relaxed and enjoyable lifestyle. Community feel, make more local friends. So this is Lake Windaroo. So this is um, a tourist destination. So as you can see, like what I said a while ago, it is preserved as an architectural city. So... 
this is what it really looks like. And then the one on the top left, this is um, Sovereign Hill. So this is where gold was actually discovered. So it's a tourist destination now. They preserve it as that. So people can get in and out, see where gold was discovered and all. And then nightlife, there is as well. But of course, siyempre, um, aside, um, aside here in the Philippines, usually there, medyo maaga nagsasara talaga ang mga mall. Usually 7, 8, sarado na. Um, nightlife nila usually hanggang 10 to 11 lang. Kaya yun. And then the buildings on the left, this is Melbourne. Um, below, this is the Great Ocean Road. And then si Ballarat kasi considered siya as the Golden Triangle because of its tourist destinations. There. Of course, why study in Ballarat? Aside from this, um, lower tuition fees at high-quality government university, um, lower cost of living, especially accommodation, um, just to give you an example, usually in the city center, 256 for a room. But within Ballarat, it's around 110 to 150 already. Yeah, just for the same size. There. There. We, yeah, we do have Bachelor of Criminology. And thank you. The next. Yeah, study in Australia longer because, yun, yeah, of course, the work visa up to five um, years. Hi, Nisa. Just to, yeah, just because I said it as well uh, now, more or less, you still have to apply for it. But I would say, more given talaga din siya sa student. Um, I never heard of a post-study work visa that was rejected because more or less given din talaga siya sa student. Right after. Plus, it is, um, yeah, given talaga this as a student. I don't hear cases naman na nare-reject. More or less, just to keep you in mind also, usually, supposed to be work visa, you have to do a degree na two years. Two years onwards. Or, yeah, within two years, maximum two years. Yeah. Yes, um, it is possible to do work during or while studying which is part-time work so to set your expectations also 20 hours 20 hours a week po kayo pwede magtrabaho so usually wag lang po ilampas usually, um, tinatawag nila 40 hours every fortnight or 40 hours every two weeks pwede kayong mag part-time work so this can cover food um, accommodation or rent and then faster visa processing because regional area and access to regional occupation list and then employment opportunities, baka naman sabihin nyo, um, meron ba talagang work? I would say there really is. Um, in Ballarat alone, they recently opened a government hub which houses about 20,000 jobs. So for students. That could be for students or more or less, of course, after they graduate. And then less competition for part-time and graduate work because nga, yeah, nasa regional area. And like what I said, parang si Gipsland kanina, skilled workers or like engineers um, are in demand as well. And I'll just show you a video probably to give you um, a feel kung how is it like in Ballarat. Sorry, it's loading now. Hopefully you can see it. Yes, Bea, we can see the screen, but I I just wait. Oops. Major frozen Basha. Ah. Um <laughs> I paused it because I think I will try to share yung sa sound. Hmm. There. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, 
Um, I think there's no sound there, but the video is playing. Okay. But there's no sound. It stop shadow now. Thank you sa mga nag-post ng questions. We'll try to answer that. Let's just wait for Bea to <laughs> fix the video. Tapos babalikan natin yung mga questions ni Rachel, I think si JC then. Siguro namang naghihintay. Bea, is it okay if I just share my thoughts on the question? <laughs> so may nagtatanong kung posib uh, 100% ma-approve. Of course, gusto namin 100% ma-approve, but there's no guarantee because it's an application and you'll have to do it towards a certain duration. So, hindi nyo patatagalan yung application. Teka lang, nagpe-play na yata. Sorry. It's okay. There. It's okay. I'll go back to that. You can play it, Bea. Thank you. Oh, they will bring sound. Let's see. Um, oh, well, I was thinking about yeah. coming to Australia. Um, I really want to know the country and want to know the culture. I feel like Australia has more than just, you know, Melbourne, Sydney, it's the big cities. Um, I want to know the countryside. I want to know another side of the culture. Great opportunities, work-life balance, and uh, the faculty was very helpful. We used to have lots of practical experience around the course. I lived two years on campus, um, and the first year, um, it was really, really great interacting with domestics and uh, clearing all those barriers and learning more about Australia. We do activity every week like badminton, barbecue, have a walk and board games and that kind of thing. The class size is smaller compared to other universities so you get to know your classmates and get to know your teacher really well um, and my classmates were so supportive. I, I really feel like I'm supportive and I'm cared for. The lecturer knows us by name. We can ask them questions about the problems we have, the theory uh, in the courses. Uh, we're just like friends closer to friends than lecturer and students. I found Fed Uni very supportive. So due to pandemic, all the places closed down and I was working in hospitality. However, Fed Uni supported me with my expenses, utilities, petrol, yes. additional accounting services. So that's, that's fantastic. I, I can think... agree. The university really, really make sure that international students got the support that they needed. It's lovely, actually. Everything is it's close. Um, life is a bit cheaper. Things feel just easier. Um, it's not super competitive as well if you want to find a job. I like the area. I like the uni, the support from uni, uh, friendly people, a nice environment, beautiful city. Many people know each other. It's easy to build up networking. So I'm enjoying whenever I'm on the street, I say hi to at least 10 people. Oh, I know you're from there. Oh, oh you work there and all. Yeah, that's fantastic. Another thing about being, um, about studying in regional Victoria is that you get the four year um, postgraduate visa once you're done with your, with your degree. Well, four years is, is just great if, you, if you're if you actually planning to, um, you know, work in Australia and get that work experience. Even though I graduated now, I love where I live, I love other so I'm not moving back to Melbourne. It's still so close to Melbourne, you know, you can't get there in just an, a bit over an hour. So I think um, it's a perfect spot for, you know, to enjoy the country life and so close to the city. So I just feel like I'm home. Completely, it was only and only because of my degree that I was able to find work. All credit goes to my course and Federation University for 
letting me become a social worker. Studying at Federation University itself has given me, given me exposure to um, the internet, international industry such as IBM. And then in, in front of the IBM as well, there is a Bellara Technology Park where I used to work as well. But not only you're studying, but you also get exposure of the actual real life industry itself. I really enjoyed my placement. I think my school kind of enjoyed having me there. So I was offered a job after placement uh, a few months before I finished my st study. So I got the job. My final year, uh, I was lucky enough to be a session a tutor for structural designing. Uh, so I was able to work with my fellow lecturers as a tutor and also that uh, experience uh, led, led me to become a stru graduate structural engineer at Cardinal TG in Ballarat. And I moved on to doing PhD. I also had the support and then the opportunity came up and I applied to be a, a lecturer in PhD and here I stand. Yeah, so we now, we now run a company together. Um, we are doing website and mobile application developments and designs. So it's, yeah, it's just very exciting things. I like coding, he likes uh, managing people. So it's like a sort of couple, right? What I spent as fees and my time, it's paying back double now. So I'm just, I feel privileged, honestly. You, if you want to um, spend your life as a student in regional area, I think Federation is a place to be. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Pat. I'm from India. Ooh. I'm studying Master of Engineering Technology. Uh, I live on campus at Federation University of Australia. I choose Federation here because it has a good interpretation. The environment here is beautiful, and I love living in quite a city slum Ballard. Living on campus at Federation University has been a wonderful experience. Uh, let's Okay, let me share my screen again. There we go. So thank you yeah, for watching. So probably um yeah, just to give you um an overview. These are uh, genuine feedbacks of international students who are who are studied in Federation University. Um, it is a regional area, but in terms of the feel of the city and all, it's a good opportunity, especially for international students. Just to give you um a bit of I know info, this guy I don't know if you can see my cursor. But the guy in the middle of the two rows of students, that's actually Dan. That's my boss. Um, Monette has also met him. So yeah, um, Dan used to take over the um, or like handle the Philippine market. So as of now, I'm here as an in-country representative of FedUni there. So if you have inquiries from time to time, we can also talk to Dan. We can also talk to Dan. Okay. For entry requirements, so we have higher education diplomas and we also have year 12, I am our foundation. So I think uh, it's not in my slides, apologies. I think um, I used a different slide, but just to give you a bit of a background, in Australia, there is um, college and university, okay? So under college, usually we have foundation and diplomas. So foundation usually in the ad siya. like for example, na graduate ka ng year 12 and you want para siyang additional pathway for you to get into a bachelor's degree. So you go through foundation. The other one is diploma. So diploma is usually one year. Um, just to, um, and then a um, bachelor's degree kasi sa Australia is usually three years. So if you do a diploma, you study at one year. And then after that one year, you can go directly into the second year of bachelor's degree. So you don't lose a year. Okay. So as of the moment, we offer three diplomas, which is engineering, IT, and business. So perfect for students who are coming from the year 12. Okay. Year 12 graduates are about to graduate. You can go for a diploma and then still finish your bachelor's degree in the, uh, in the uh, proper time frame. 
And then, if you want to go, for example, nursing or science, as of the moment, the best pathway for you is you can go through the foundation program if you plan to go for bachelor's. But if you're currently doing bachelor's um, and then you want to go for a bachelor degree in Australia or in Federation University, you would need one year um, one year post-secondary study. So more or less one year in college. Then you can apply for um, bachelor's degree. Okay, and then for master's degree, um, a recognized bachelor's degree would do for, to get you into um, your master's degree. But of course, from time to time, it still differs in terms of yung pag -assess. Okay, and then English entry requirements. We do really need IELTS or any form of English exam. That could be PTE, TOEFL. Um, but more or less overall for higher education diplomas, 5.5. And then most degrees, IELTS of 6, nothing lower than 6. But of course, if you go for nursing, teaching, or Masters of Social Work qualifying, you would need um, 7. Okay. 7. 7 in English for it. Mm -hmm. Next. So. What courses are available? So we have different types of schools that we do call or study areas, which is business, health, engineering, information technology, science, psychology and sport, education, arts, and social studies. Okay. So I'll go through it there, probably for each study area. So first is for business. Yeah, we do have Bachelor of Business. So 26,300. Um, Bachelor of Professional Accounting. MBA. Masters of Professional Accounting. Just to give you, um, to set your expectations also, our MBAs and Masters of Professional Accounting is only available in Brisbane. There you go. Okay. So these are all before scholarships. Um, your scholarship page, I think that I'm siya. <laughs> Apologies for that, but let me share a different um, or I could discuss it after para at least ma we can focus a bit on the scholarships that we do offer. But more or less, you can see that price point wise in terms of tuition fee, it only ranges from twenty thousand to thirty thousand. See Federation University as a whole. So we do have Bachelor of Nursing as well, um, Masters of Public Health. Um, for engineering, we have four things for bachelors, civil, electrical information, mechanical engineering, mining engineering, uh, Masters of Engineering Technology. We have project management, um, civil engineering, mechanical, mechatronics, mining, of course. Renewable energy and engineering for INSE project management. We also have Bachelor of IT, so big data analytics, um, networking and security, professional practice. And we have four masters of um, IT. And next year, we are going to have ayan, si Masters of Applied Cybersecurity. So our first intake for this would be next year, February. It would be offered in Ballarat and Brisbane also. So Masters of Technology, Software Engineering, um, Masters of Cognitive Enterprise. This could be somehow a new course that we made with IBM. More or less, it's a course that deals with students or um, dealing with new technology in the workplace. So making um, employers be more adaptable to um, new technology. So, Kesha Cognitive Enterprise. And then we have Masters of Data Science also. And then Bachelor of Science. Uh, most of our science courses are only in bachelor's level. So, wala kaming masters. So, Biomed um, Science, Environmental Science, Exercise and Sport Science. Um, Geoscience, Sustainable Food System, Veterinary and Wildlife Science. And Bachelor of Psychological Science. Also, just to give you information, the engineering, Bachelor of Engineering is four years. Most of the bachelor courses in Australia usually is three years long. In engineering, it's four years. Here in the Philippines, alam ko five. 
Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, pero Bachelor of Engineering here in the Philippines and five, is five years, pero sa Australia, it's four years. Um, baka kung magtataka kayo, bakit may honors? The honors part is one year of thesis. Okay. So, kaya siya honors. Same with the Bachelor of Psychological Science. So, we do have a Bachelor of Psychological Science honors as well. So, we have Bachelor of Education and Masters of Teaching. Um, yeah, early childhood, primary, secondary. And then we have social and community services. So we have Bachelor of Community and Human Services and Masters of Social Work Qualifying. So Masters of Social Work Qualifying, um, it's a really different course for us also. See, Masters of Social Work Qualifying, two hours, um, more or less, parang two times a week alone to go into class. Lahat kasi practical. And this is what sets Masters of Social Work apart. Especially like the student a while ago dun sa video. Madami talagang, um, what do you call this? Madami talagang experience outside si student in terms of um, like OJT or like work. And then also probably I saw a question, how long more or less does it take for a student to study in a week? So, nakakapag-work talaga ng 20 hours because usually contact hours no, with study time is around 15 to 20 hours per week. So, more or less, you could go to classes. Depends. You can still pick your um, classes naman. Pero, based from my experience, it's around three to four times a week si students pupunta for classes sa school. Actually. There. Computer science or chemistry. So hopefully you saw a bit of the slides. Yeah. Usually this is what we have for science. I think chemistry as a whole might fall into biomed na lang. Biomed or geoscience. Depends. Mm -hmm. yeah, computer computer yeah. science. Yeah. Sorry, computer ah. science. Ayan. Kasi ito kasi may Bachelor of Chemistry din siya. So yeah. More or less biomed. Yeah. And then si computer science naman, we have it at Bachelor of IT. And then in terms of research, like for example, Masters of Research and PhD, we do offer it as well. Um, we have seven research areas that's available on our website because more or less, um, once you start to apply or um, research is a bit uh, a different of an application because you have to propose a study first or a proposal once you go for research courses. Okay. There. So those are our area of courses or some of our more um, courses that students inquire about. So next is there. Hey, yeah. So before we move to that, can I just ask, um, you do accept IB diplomats course? Yes, we do. And do they need, um, kung may ganitong yung student, do they still need to take an entrance exam? No. While applying? Okay. As a whole, um, application to FedUni, there is no any application or a, like application exam okay. or no entrance exam needed. So you just submit your document and then up for um, application na siya. Okay. Thank you. But more or less, one of the exam is really IELTS, the English exam. The English exam. Right. But, but you do accept PT academic. Yes, PT okay. yeah. So next is, of course, one of the questions is, can I afford um, to study in Australia? I would say, um, yes, of course. Here we have scholarships that we do offer for undergrad and postgrad. So as you saw a while ago, most of our tuition fee ranges from 20000 to 30000 We do have a Global Innovator Scholarship, 20% of automatic scholarship for all undergrad and postgrad students. So all of the price points that you saw a while ago within the tuition fee, you deduct it by 20%. So that is the um, course fee for you guys. And then global excellence is you can, instead of 20%, you can go up to 25% if you reach a total percentile score of 90% in your previous study. So if you have good grades within your bachelor's for master's, so yeah, you can go up to 25%. 
per automatic si 20%. And then we also have an accommodation scholarship. This um, works with Gippsland, Ballarat, and Berwick. So we have a 4%, a 4,000 discount on first year campus accommodation. So this is a usual good trend for students or like international students because you can stay one year within campus, learn about the area, and then you can move out after. But you still get the 4,000 discount on campus. So 2,000, 2,000 per semester. There. Next is um, you know, see higher um, education diplomas. So we have business engineering information technology. So this is for students coming from year 12 or yeah. So it's also offered in Feb, July, and November. As of the moment, um, we offer it only in Ballarat. Mm -hmm. So IELTS 5.5. So after you do the one year, you can go directly into second year of your chosen degree within these three diplomas. And then, yeah. So next is, yeah. So this is the scholarship also. So if you go through that pathway, like for example, year 12, and then you get an additional 2,500 tuition fee, diplo um, tuition fee um, scholarship aside from the 20% off. So more or less 20% of deducted to business engineering and IT, and then you get additional 2,500, and you still get the accommodation scholarship. So yeah. Next. There. Okay. Fed living accommodation. So we do have accommodation, yeah, so that we offer for students. So Gippsland, Ballarat, and Berwick. Yeah, so these are regional and city campuses there. So hopefully, um, six things to take away as well. Um, outstanding employment outcomes, high quality um, education. There. Extensive and effective student support. Scholarships are available. Industry relevant and accredited courses. Great facilities, regional and city campuses. Oh, wow, there. So if you have questions, feel free to contact me um, or screenshot. These are my contact details. Um, you can reach me at b.manhon at federation.edu.au. The next is, of course, how can you study or how can you apply? So today um, we are brought together by BADA. So in terms of how to apply, more or less documents needed are passport, birth cert, POR, diploma, resume if the student are, or if you're already working. And then English exams could be IELTS, TOEFL, PPE. And then we also have, of course, MONET. We have BADA Philippines to really help you with your study, um, study path or to guide you, especially from application to the school up to student visa. Yeah. So hopefully Monette can share more about it there. Thanks, Bea. So, yes, in explain naman namin yung documentation na yan. May next slide, Babar, that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> I hope you're, uh, you, you posted your contacts, Bea, no? So is yeah. it okay if I share with them your information as well in case they have direct questions? All mm -hmm. right. So actually, um, we're almost... Um, at the end of our um, session, pero gusto ko lang briefly share, because I know there's a lot of information, pero how you could actually activate your application, let's have first um, uh, an assessment. So when I say assessment, you have, um, you spend some time talking to us regarding your intentions of studying in Australia. We talk about your profile, your academic and work experience. Um, and this is done currently via Zoom. On request, we will do it. We can do it also face to face in our office in Makati. But the assessment is completely free. Para lang maintindihan nyo um, what is the best or suitable course. Um, Lalena, if you've already had work experience, so we can help you um, pick the best course for you that is also aligned to your future career and academic goals. Of course, after that, 
we will have, so there are two parts of your application, guys, if you're wanting to study in Australia. One is the school application, which is, um, in this case, Federation University. And then you will also have the next step, which is for your student visa application. And this is where also BADA education helps, not just with the school with Federation application, but also the visa. So the Lawayan uh, in assist namin in all of our students. And we also discuss this information in more detail via the orientation or the consultation that I mentioned. Of course, when everything is done, you can now fly to Australia and start your studies. You can also, um, uh, ano ba yan? Um, you can also um, explore um, work opportunities while you're waiting to commence your program. Again, pwede kayong mag-aral part-time as an international student. Uh, apparently, hindi kasi katulad ng schedule natin dito sa, sa Philippines na everyday time pumapasok. So in Australia, uh, you still have some days na hindi nyo kailangan mag-report sa school physically on campus. So there, But there are other things that you will have to do academically. May nagtanong kanina, what if you exceed daw yung 20 hours per week? Actually, they, if I'm not mistaken, it's they are allowed, but they are currently allowed to work yes. more than 20 hours per week. So at the moment, ang good news relax is yes, relax on hours, meaning you can work more than 20 hours in Australia at the moment until they change the policy or until they say na they're now removing the relaxation. So this allows you to gain more work experience, a little bit of more financial assistance for your studies or for your living expense. Mm -hmm. Ano pa ba yung mga tanong dyan? Ah, Bea, may I also... Ah, so yeah. anyway, so these are the steps. And what I will ask, um, what I will do for everyone who attended the hall, uh, I will send you an invitation. So you will just let me know if you would like to join the Zoom consultation. We will schedule it according to your availability. And then... Uh, doon, doon natin pag-usapan. Sandali, titignan ko lang. May mga tanong. Bernadette, yes, free po ang assessment. This is, I'm talking about the initial assessment. May, excess, may expenses po ba tayong babayaran? Uh, yes. BC, uh, if you're talking about to study in Australia, meron po. So just like when you're studying in the Philippines, uh, may babayaran din po tayo. All the same if you study in Australia. Nandun din po yung living expense, lalo na po kung wala naman po tayong relative. But, I think the mention kanina ni Bea that there are available um, ano tawag nito? scholarships. So this will lessen or decrease greatly your um, tuition um, fees. Yeah. So kung may other questions pa kayo, please send me an email. I am the one who's been sending you email. I'm sure medyo familiar na kayo sa akin. Bea, thank you so much. I think I'm ready now to ask my colleague to share the spinning wheel kasi mamimili lang tayo very quickly ng three winners to um for a chance to win a free PTE review. Rhea, are you able to share your screen? So yung mga nag-stay on, so you have a chance. So we will pick three. Um, ano ba yung PTE academic? Ito yung English exam na pwede nyong itake to satisfy, to satisfy the English requirement for Federation University. So tatlo ang pipilian, mabilis lang to. In a note ko yung names. <laughs> so please tandaan nyo kung kayo to at hindi ko kayo kinontak, you'll have to let me know. <laughs> Pero dahil recorded to, may copy ako. <laughs> Ayan. So Rhea, we can spin the wheel. Let's start with the first winner. Let's go ahead. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Ms. Bernadette Vargas, ang first PTE review winner. Congratulations, mm -hmm. Bernadette. Next, Rhea. Sino ang second? So available yung PTA review until 2022. Okay. Great. Next one is Rach. I think I have her name. Baka ito si ano. Miss Ambuat. Hi, Rach. I hope you're still here. You are going to receive a free access to our PTE review program. Ayan, dito siya. And lastly, our third winner is, let's spin the wheel. Yes, Brenna, you may leave if you're in a hurry. We will send you the recording. Yay. Congratulations, Brenna. Thank you for joining, Brenna. Sino yun? Princess Kate. What's the last name? Bakal. Bakal. Ayan. Congratulations. Pa lahat girls. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> ladies. Thank you, Rhea, for facilitating that. So with that, I would like to officially end this call.
by thanking everyone. And I'm just going to flash the screen. Yeah. Ayan, gusto ko lang i-remind sa inyo, if you want to be part of something bigger, think Federation University, please visit their website, federation.edu.au. Free yung consultation. You just need to reply to my email and then confirm ano yung schedule na gusto nyong i-avail. Wala siyang uh, expiration. So, yan ang um, service namin to all of our students who registered for our events. Please follow our Facebook page at Bada Philippines or visit our website www.thebadaedu.com. Ayan, thank you everyone. That's it for today. I'm gonna end this call. Thank you so much, Bea, for joining. Have also, a good weekend, everyone. <laughs> sorry? I just wanted to add. I'm um, sorry, yes. Sorry, sorry. I think I wasn't able to mention it. But just to give you a bit of a background also, um, in Australia, wala po tayong um, tinatawag na regional rate or provincial rate. So uh, whatever you earn in the city, it's the same mm -hmm. amount that you earn in regional. Okay. So standardize ang salary sa Australia. And I saw some questions also. Um, yeah, assessment is free. Accommodate student loans, not really, as long as you're there already pag in-apply mo. And then aside from that, I think I saw another question. Yeah. You know, in terms of degree, kung ma-recognize siya yun up for assessment with BADA as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. So hopefully you can take note that a hey, regional, regional. <laughs> you can go to regional. Yeah, thank you yeah. for clarifying that, um, Bea. Kasi baka iniisip na because regional, wala siya dun sa mga popular city destinations. Mm -hmm. Baka mas uh, lower yung, ano tawag dyan, income, uh, employment yeah. income. In fact, the yeah. same. And just to give you an idea, medyo Australia lang naman ang has the one of the highest minimum wages in the world. So I think um, you could expect around 21 yes. to 27 maximum Australian dollars per hour. So kayo na pong bahalang mag-convert. Pero definitely return of investment in return of investment shop plus you have international qualification and yes. good experience in um, Melbourne. <laughs> Dito tayo sa Melbourne. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Nay, um, mag-consult tayo and then explain ko yan further sa iyo. Alright? Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.